Hello, friends. Welcome back to Mustard. This session is again a part of CICD uh, pipeline series. And in this session, we'll be discussing about the GitHub Actions pipeline. So I was having a few questions. Uh, how to access the reviewer to our deployment? Right? For example, if I'm deploying to test, stage, or production, if I want to add the reviewer for the deployment, if I want to add the approval process for the deployment, so I was looking for the answer to this question. And I found the answer via environments. We can use the environments and uh, invite for each deployment. And then we can add some protection rules. OK, we can have environment specific secrets over there. So let's see how we can add the approval process or review process to the deployment. OK, so. I mean, again, we'll extend our GitHub Actions pipeline, which we have implemented in the you know, uh, previous session. So please go through those sessions and then come back to this. OK, so as I said, using environment for a deployment, uh, we can configure the environment with the protection rules and secrets and our workflow job. OK, so that references an environment must follow any protection rules for the environment before running or accessing the environment secret. So let me give more information about it. So if you're creating public repository, then environments, uh, protection rules, and secrets are available. But if you're using private repository, then you need to, you know, must use the GitHub Enterprise. Okay, so right now we are using public repository. So we have protection rules and secrets are available for the environment, okay? And little bit about the environment, so we can have, you know, basically, you know, uh, environment. It's like describing your target, right? So it can be production, it can be staging, or it can be development. So when a GitHub action workflow deploys to an environment, the environment is displayed on the main page of the repository. Okay. So let's start with the the uh, you know uh, creating new environment different environments like for day broad and test and then we'll start using that environment in our uh, workflow so let's do that so if you're coming back from the previous session you definitely uh, will be aware of this workflow which we have created for our uh, simple deployment now here we'll add the environment so we'll go to the settings section over here and we have environments here. So I have created three different environments now. So let's go to the production first. So you can anytime add the environments and go to the environment protection rule. Here I have added the user. So right now in this environment, I am the only user. So I have added my username over here, stack mode. And for each a job i'm giving a wait time here so it should wait for you know uh, one minute so for testing point of i give one minute in real scenario you can give you know days or uh, you know hours over here then save the protection rule second you can say that which branch you wanted to select for the you know here so i said like okay selected branch is a master branch go ahead and add that master branch over here and environment specific credentials if you want to create you go ahead and say environment secret over here add those so first security point of view i can mm, cannot show that so that's the reason i have created this before this session started okay so two credentials i have added over here username and password which is the platform credential uh, one reviewer i added to the this environment now this environment will add it to our workflow and one more point to be noted here for public repositories these two options are available if you're creating private repository, then you need to use the GitHub Enterprise, okay? Yeah, so let's go back to our pipeline workflow code. So if I open it, this is my pipeline code or workflow code. So here, here, we need to add simple that environment to the job. So each job will be associated with a single environment, okay? So you can have multiple jobs. So you know, deploy to the day, deploy to test, deploy to production. Each job will be associated with a single environment. Okay. So we have created environment. We have added reviewer time. We have added wait time. 
now what we can we can do is we can save it and trigger the flow and see whether it's waiting for the approval or not so right now i have only single master branch here in real scenario you'll be having multiple branches for your code repository dev branch feature branch test branch that is qa and then master branch or main branch okay so right now we have main or master branch over here and that master branch if you see that is what our pipeline is you know looking for you know changes on master branch so this is the trigger okay and if anything happens on master branch it will go the job will get triggered and our runner this is our runner okay it it waits till the approval is given to this particular job once the approval is given then the steps will start executing okay so let's see that start and commit so i'll say here uh, approval process add it okay so now have a look at it okay so what i have done here in the job i have added uh, environment you can go ahead and just a space bar here you'll see all the options what options we can add it here so i chose the environment over here okay and environment i gave a name of my environment whatever name you gave while creating the environment same name you should give okay that's it start and commit the changes now let's go to the actions see here approval process added and it got triggered now if you see here that much requested your review to deploy to production review the deployment you click it now see here we are able to see the prod environment okay you select it and you can approve and deploy before that let's see what has been changed here okay so it's waiting for the approval now you have to select it and you can see that the one minute we have given right so that is the waiting time for the review okay so let's go ahead and review the deployment select your environment and say approve and deploy okay so once this time right waiting time is done it will start at deploying your code so Two seconds, one second. Start it. You can see that. Build is done. Now deployment is started. And this pipeline was enabled with the caching also. That's the reason. See, I don't need to deep, uh, you know, in, uh, download those dependencies again and again. So build is executed. Now the deployment process is getting executed. You can see here. Okay. So it will get deployed in the environment. Uh, specific environment which I have mentioned in the you know uh, form dot XML. So this is how we can add the approval process to your deployment, and definitely this is the impro important step that without approval you should not go to the test environment, you should not go to the production environment. So this approver it can be your team lead or it can be your manager. Okay, so uh, that's all from this session. Okay, hope you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that you'll get a uh, no, uh, notification for the new uploaded videos. Thank you.